Hello there. Now I can tell you a story about a young lad on the dance floor at a wedding many years ago. And that young lad was me. And I was strutting my stuff. I thought I was absolutely fantastic. John Travolta of the dance floor. I was probably only about 11 years old at the time. And somebody made a comment. They said, he's rather wooden. Meaning that I was stiff in my dancing technique. And you know, I determined after that never to be wooden again in my dance moves. Well, not that I did much dancing. Because I decided to be on the other side, providing the music for dancers. That was my get out card. Best move I ever made. But anyway... The thing is, if you're playing a violin tune or a fiddle tune, it could be that your playing sounds a little like this. Not saying it is, of course, because I know everybody out there plays fantastically well. But if you recognise this, we'll have a talk about it in a moment. Now I was trying my hardest there to sort of cast me back, self back, quite a few years. I'm not saying how many, but a long time ago when I was first learning to play the fiddle. And I was terrible. I was awful. I couldn't hold notes in tune. I had no idea about what to do with this arm, apart from sort of scrape it backwards and forwards like that. But basically I managed to kind of get a tune of some sort out of this instrument, the fiddle, and it probably sounded a lot worse than that. But I would kind of call that wooden playing, which is where this tune comes from, really. It's called the Wooden Stop Polka. Now, I'm going to try and give you some hints, advice, if you like, which you can take if you wish, or you can chuck it in the bin. It's entirely up to you. But I'll just try and give you some pointers to what I think might assist if you recognise any of those traits that I just mentioned about wooden playing in your own playing. As I say, not that I think you do, you're probably all fantastic out there in YouTube land, but I'll go forward with this and just say, well, look, let's have a look at this. First of all, how can you in make the the tune swing. I think the thing is, a tune like this, you just got to go, da, start to hum it, if you like, sing it. Everybody may look at you as if you're barking, a, a little bit crackers, but don't worry about it. It will give you the rhythm. My apologies for my singing, but it does give me the rhythm. Right, so let's try it. Right, you'll notice there, I was actually adding notes to the actual melody. The melody is... And I was going... And you might notice I'm using about an inch in the middle or if you're in uh, Euroland, or in the UK, about uh, 25 millimetres. 
um, or two and a half centimetres of the middle section of the bow there. Basically, let's see if we can try and extend that. interesting by using more of the bow I'm kind of giving the tune a little bit more rhythm so let's try and use a bit more of the bow and add a few notes did you notice what I did there on one of those notes That's the D on the A string. That's the third, <clears throat> the third finger, your ring finger. I made a slide. Because I gave myself far more bow to put that slide in. So by introducing slightly longer bow strokes, and maybe reinterpreting a tune, not necessarily having to play what you see on the page, but starting to put your own stamp on it and starting to feel the rhythm by, as I say, humming the tune first. Da da dee da 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 dee 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 dee. It's starting to swing a little bit. Now, something else I'm doing there. I'm putting a bit of this vibrato in. Now, I'm not a classical violinist, as you all know. I'm just a self-taught fiddle player, but I have learnt that vibrato is a great way to emphasise a note. Let's see how I do that. Do you see, on that very first note, uh, in the first bar of the second part of this tune, and I'm playing the E on the D string, which is like the first finger. I'm sliding up to that note, and I'm also putting in a bit of vibrato as well. So we've got the long bowing motions. We've got the additional notes if we feel like we need them. We've got slides coming in. We've got vibrato and all of these things are adding colour and rhythm. Plus we've also thought about the tune in our head before picking up the music and starting to play it. We've looked at it, we've kind of worked out what the tune is. Da 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 de 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 so I really want to play that like da 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 de da la da la da la de da la da da and so on and so forth. So basically, you're starting to hear the tune in your mind prior to actually starting to play it. So it's really giving you some good clues. You need to go with your own feelings on these kind of tunes, and I've kept this tune very simple. For that basic reason, because I wanted to put this across to you. This is a new tune written about an hour and a half ago. And so it's, it's pretty fresh. Um, but it's basically, it's a simple melody, but it's basically there to, to give you the idea of um, imparting more rhythm, more feel into your playing. 
And, and I, t I use the, the, the term wooden stop polka because the stop is where I want to put some double stops in. Now it's dead simple on this B part. <laughs> to remember to do is play the open string which is above the note that you're playing so when you're playing on the D string you play the open A and when you go down to the G string you play the open D as well so it sounds like this When we get to the last bit, and if you really want to be a bit fancy with the double stops, you can put the last note, which is an A, and you can add an E on the D string. That's the first note in on the D string. So we'll put all that together and we'll play the whole tune. Three, four. basically how you can achieve um, breaking down that sort of woodenness in your playing and I know it's very hard to do that very very hard I can remember spending countless hours trying to um, to develop a style where I was more free-flowing in my playing it sounded smoother etc and also to try and provide rhythm with the bowing but I have found that some techniques, like the longer bow, like the adding extra notes in if you wish, like the little bit of vibrato, or like the slides, I do like slides, they can all add to the flavour, the sound of a tune. And they can just pick it up a great deal and break down that woodenness that uh, you may be feeling. Oh, and another piece of advice. Record yourself playing. Always record yourself playing. Listen back. Listen to your playing and think, now, what can I improve? Uh, is there anything there that I'd like to improve? And then the next time you play it, try and sort out those problems. Break it down into small stages. That's the best way to do it. Just take it one bit at a time, basically. And it does take a while. But if you break it down and, and if you're, if you're self-critical and in your playing and listening, if you listen back to yourself playing and you're critical, then it, it does definitely make a difference. It's far nicer to be critical of yourself than somebody else turn around and make a rather nasty remark or something about your playing. We've all been there. We've all done it. The best the best thing if somebody does that you've got the end of a bow there it's quite sharp just give them a poke that'll sort them out anyway oh and it's quite useful in sessions as well elbows in sessions when that box player gets too close or the banjo player just give them a poke on either side that's why these bows fiddle bows are quite good especially the ones that are steel tipped on the end whoa <laughs> just 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 larking around not true <laughs> I'll play this tune again. Three, four. <laughs>
that was a bit of fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found this informative and are continuing to enjoy these uh, videos that I make. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.